Let's begin by downloading Lua. In my case, this is Lua 5.4.1. And let's get the latest version of Sol 2, which in my case is version 3.2.2. And here I will download the source code file. I have already prepared a folder structure. I have a folder called source where I will put the application source code. I have a folder called externals where I will put in the Lua and the Sol source code. And I have the CMake file and I have a folder which contains a batch file which uses CMake to generate the solution files inside of this folder here. Let us now go into the externals folder and let's create a folder called Lua and let us extract the entire source code folder of Lua inside here. Next we will create a folder called Sol and here we will extract the Sol2 source code. So inside the zip file we go into the folder called single include Sol and we extract these three files here. After this is done we can, we can already start populating the CMake list file. And here we start by defining the minimum CMake version, the project name and the C++ standard. Next we define four variables pointing to our source code folder. So we have one for the app source, another one for the externals, one for the Lua directory and one for the Sol2 directory. Up next, we can add the library. We call it Lua, we compile it statically and we give it a list of the following C files which are located inside the externals Lua folder. So these are the files we want to compile. Except for the Lua C.C file, we don't need this. This is the Lua compiler, but yeah, as I said, we don't need it here. And now we can already define the application. So I will add the executable, I will call it sandbox and I want to compile the main.cpp file and I want to link it against Lua. Next I define the include directories, I give it the externals folder, so this will be that. And it contains the Lua and the Sol headers. And as of Sol 3.2.2, the lua.hpp file must be accessible through the root include. So it has to be accessible like this using the angular brackets like that. And to do this, we just provide the lua directory as another include directory to the executable. And now we can already generate the solution files using the batch file by just double clicking it and it will generate the solution files for us. So this is what it looks like, it generated the solution file. We can right click on it and open it up using Visual Studio or any other IDE which supports the solution file format. Inside here on the left we see that our solution has four projects. And I will set the sandbox to be our startup project and I will build it. So it compiled successfully and if I run it now, it prints hello world. Yeah, and this is pretty much it for the setup. Um, so inside the main CPP you can already include the Lua header and the Sol header and you can create your Sol state down here and you can do all the things with Lua. And one thing to note is that you have to include the Lua header before you include the Sol header, otherwise you might run into issues. At least this was the case for Sol versions up to 3.2.1 if I'm not mistaken. So to be safe just include the Lua header before the Sol header. Yeah and see you in the next one.